Greetings Soul Family, it's Teal here. Welcome to another video. We are continuing on to our Goetic series. I know that some of you may be like, okay, are we going to talk about anything else in between? Yes, we will. I'm just trying to play the catch-up game and I really feel determined to discuss all 72 demons of the Ars Goetia and work with them as a practitioner because I feel being called, being drawn, and that some of these spirits we just don't have much information on and they need to be represented. They need to be talked about because so many people are unaware. They only seem to be drawn to like the popular ones or what is kind of what I like to call the demonic being that is trending in the cult community, which is a thing. Um, right now we're seeing a burst in popularity with the goddess Arachne that a lot of people are connecting with her because she is becoming more present with practitioners so she's going to have more discussion more interest and i feel like all these spirits deserve a level of acknowledgement and if you feel drawn to any of these videos it's because you're being called to work with that spirit so now to continue on to gap gap is the 33rd spirit mentioned within the ars goetia ruling over anywhere from 36 legions of demons to 66 legions gap is said to present true answers of the past can help you with divination and has a little bit of a sneaky tricky side and can actually help you mess with like another witch that has done you wrong he has said that he has the ability to steal their familiar you can mess up people's divination or what they are receiving with his guidance he can definitely help you with that uh, he also helps consecrate ritual tools such as your anthem and your chalice. He can help you set up your ritual room and can even give you access to connect with other infernal beings. I think he is very beginner friendly but he does kind of have that trickster fun side to him. He is said to appear as a human with bat wings. The image that they actually portray him in with is really cute. Like I just love it <laughs> what they chose but he's actually a very powerful being nonetheless. And he is actually represented by one of the cardinal points. According to the key of Solomon, it is south white. In the Pseudomonica Dominion, it is west. I would recommend working with him if you feel drawn to do so. He is a great spirit. Thank you guys for watching and infernal blessings.